John Marston. Where's Dickens? A tempest looms. A tempest come on, looms. Come on, let's go! Hey, Get him in there! Come on, come on! Hey, miss! Hey, miss. I got most of the horses secure and the chicken. Well, thank you, Amos, but it's the herd I'm worried about. I know. They're scattered all over the valley and beyond. The weather is coming in real fast. So what do you suggest, Amos? We leave the herd out there to be scattered by the storm and ourselves left here to die without a livelihood? Can I help? No, miss. If the men get caught out in that storm, they're gonna die. And if we lose our herd, we'll all die, you stupid man. Doesn't sound like we're left with much of a choice then. Come on, Amos. Round up your men. Let's get the herd. Dang. Barsat or the Believing in some kind of divine purpose ain't gonna give me my wife and kid back. Past who we are, Miss McFarland. There ain't no changing that. Faith is a luxury I can't afford. We have two herds out grazing in different pastures. We'll need to merge them and bring them all back. I think we can handle that. The cows get real ornery in bad weather. It's more work, but I'll show you how to deal with them. It's gonna be difficult for talking this weather. सारी गायों को
किधर 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 चलो 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 हुर्र हुर्र चल 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 One day. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's Burning. Excuse me, Mr. Marston. Have you seen my father? The burning? No. He went out this morning to ride the land and was supposed to be back hours ago. I don't know. The ranch hands have been out looking, but so far they found nothing. Well, come on, let's go look for him. Let's head out. He couldn't have gotten far. Long. 
Don't worry. We'll find him. He's not as young as he used to be. What if he's hurt himself? His father can still handle himself just fine, Miss McFarlane. He's built like an oak. You're probably right, but I can't help worrying. He's all I've got. Don't you have any brothers or sisters, Miss McFarlane? I had six brothers, but five of them died, either from sickness or foolish choices. And the Quick other one? can! Come on. Stay with me. I've got a bad feeling about this. He left for the east and never came back. Bad He's been feeling. on for ten years ago now. He's a high and mighty banker in New York, according to his last letter. He should be here, helping you and your pa. I don't want his help. He can live his life any way he wants. But when I see those city fellers coming in on the railway, all dressed up like a sore toe. Who's that over there? Let's go. Yeah. Come on, let's hurry. Stay with me. Daddy, what happened? Nothing nice. Wrestlers, I guess. Maybe the Baller twins, that bunch. Now you head back to the ranch right now and fetch a wagon. Yes, sir. Martian, you watch after her. I'll do that, sir. It's a bad idea to split up Come right on. now. Whoa! What could have happened to those poor men? And their horses were dead, too. I think we should get back there as soon as we can. Who could have done something like that? The boss seemed to have an idea who it was. Let's just do what he says and get the wagon. Easy now! Damn Russell, I've got a good mind to head over to Pike's Basin myself. I don't think that's a good idea. And you're no better. How many men have you killed? Do you really want to know? It's disgusting. You never met the men I killed. I heard the way you talked about that gang you were in. Like there was some twisted morality to what you did. We all have a code. Only some of us don't realize. The outlaw with the code? How wonderfully romantic. The reluctant murderer, the noble criminal. There's nothing more depressing than a man who's found a way to think the bad. Look, Mr. Marston, the barn is on fire. Come on. Yeah.
Sure know how to handle yourself. Thanks, Martin. Yes, John, thanks. You, well, you saved the ranch. If you'll excuse me, I, I've got chores to attend to. Hey, w w hold on a second over there. Sincerely, John. Thank you. Well, I did all I could, Miss McFarland. Sorry about all the damage. That gang seems to really want you out of here. Yeah, well, my father fought Indians. I scarcely think we're gonna be frightened by some white trash. White trash can be pretty frightening. Well, they don't frighten me. Good. John, my family owes you a great debt. I think you got enough debt. You saved my life. All I ask of you is this. If I get back home and get my farm started back up, you'll sell me some cattle. I prefer doing business with people I know. Of course, Mr. Marston. It'd be my pleasure. Um, well, you get some rest. I've got to go see how my father's bearing up.